All right, guys, winter's over and it's planting season, and I've got a problem to fix. Let's go um, roll out a field. I've got some stuff to talk about. guys so it's time we well to start working on our fields a little bit here but like i said i've got everything planted uh we're just working on well field productivity a bit more making sure we can maximize these fields and i did buy something a little extra we bought a roller a field roller so guys this thing cost me thirty thousand twenty nine thousand bucks for this volmer uh it's it's not bad it's not the biggest roller in the world by any means but it is towable with the uh the 70 10 like we only have 175 horsepower with this bad boy so i don't have really the power to take anything that's absolutely massive obviously and really i'm only getting a couple extra percentage of yield off this so let's not spend too much money ruling our fields right so let's just get in here let's just knock everything down and see how we make do now one of the things guys of course you guys know i've been working on well diversifying i guess would be a good word maybe diversifying our our crops might be a, a decent word for that and uh we've had Let's just go with mixed success. Yeah, maybe not so much. You failed me. I mean, guys, Iowa is kind of known for its corn, right? I mean, there's definitely a few cornfields around here, and well, we're no exception. We've been working the cornfield here. And then, like I said, this is our only field, so what we get off this has to last us the year. So far, that's been fine. I mean, realistically, we're making, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars off of this field per year. Well, trying to diversify into, uh, well, the popcorn industry has proven to be a, a bit of a challenge. I mean, it's not that we're not making money at it, but let's just say that we're making a little less than we kind of had hoped or expected for that matter. So we need to find a way to, well, maybe come up with something that's uh, going to work a little better in our favor, I think. You know, like I said, I've got, we got a decent income coming in. But I think we could find a way to do a little bit better than that. Let me finish rolling this field. Let me finish rolling this all this out. It's a little bit longer. We've got a couple more passes still to make here. And um, we'll talk about it. All right. See you guys in a bit. Oh, boy. All right. Well, welcome back in. It's, uh, well, we've been a month since we last talked, to be honest. The crops are already starting to come up. I do have some field work to do today. But I promised you guys I would talk a little bit more and show you a little bit more about well where things maybe have gone wrong and what i plan to do to fix them so well uh, come with me jump on in we're gonna make a quick trip into town and yeah i'll show you <laughs> everything that didn't work out the way we expected it to well it's only one thing so it shouldn't take that long <laughs> that's what she said <laughs> is well the k sims popcorn factory that we thought we'd try to run we would make a decent money like i said off of our corn guys like corn was doing well in fact we're making you know upwards of you know fifteen hundred dollars per thousand farming units but hey i thought why not try to wreck that by making popcorn oh yeah popcorn it's going for a pretty penny all right uh, the whole three hundred dollars per thousand yeah that makes perfect sense why why do i base my time i think the packaging is worth more than the actual popcorn is guys this is absolutely ridiculous and my day is completely ruined because of this stuff so rather than abandoning all hope and you know starting from scratch hey you know what i decided to do i'm i'm gonna double down guys we're gonna double down that's right instead of just making you know regular old popcorn well we're gonna go with the buttered popcorn we're gonna make buttered popcorn instead of regular popcorn and put it in a nondescript box. We're saving money on the packaging and making a higher end product. It makes perfect sense. I mean, guys, just look at the, look at the price difference. We could make up to four four thousand four hundred bucks per thousand on buttered popcorn. So that seems like a no brainer to me, doesn't it? Okay, I know I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself because there's well, there's one thing we're not making yet to to make well what we have behind us, of course, and that's. That's the butter part. That's right, the butter part. There's the popcorn and the butter. Well, we can make the popcorn. We can't make the butter. So for our first batch here, I did have to go ahead and buy butter, which I'd rather not do, to be perfectly honest. 
So that is our goal today, guys. We need to find a way to be able to start making butter. I need to I need to find a way to do that. I don't think we're gonna need as much as you might think, but we're still gonna definitely need more than enough. Does that make sense? That was great English clutch. Anyways, we need more than enough butter. How do we do that? Well, we gotta we gotta expand our farm a bit, I think. So guys, the goal for today, of course, is to be able to get through this year and by the end of it being able to start making some butter. We need to find a way to start manufacturing that stuff. Of course, I can I can of course buy butter, but I need to buy the dairy, guys. We need to be able to purchase the dairy. I mean, we can make more things with the dairy, of course. That is going to be our goal. We need to we need to get to a point where we can buy that and start utilizing it. <laughs> the liquid herbicide, the whole reason we're actually making this trip out here today, to be honest with you. I I, I know I said I wanted to just show you something, but guys. You're not the only reason I had to come out here. I needed to get some liquid herbicide too. And we very well, well may have to. So that's going to be our goal. Can we make, can we make, uh, well, let's see here. We're going to need cattle, of course. Can we make a cattle barn and get some cows out here and uh, start turning profits with milk and butter by the end of the year? It's going to be touch and go. We'll see what we can do. Of course, I can't forget about taking care of our fields while I'm trying to do this. So let's just get this out of the way first. Quickly fill her on up. Stop that there. All right, looks good. Let's get out there. Of course, guys, I still do have one other concern, and that has to do with that Brock bin behind me. Am I going to need to build a second one of those? Like I said, we ran out of space last year on the bin. Uh, our yield's going to be higher this year, most likely. So that's something I'm going to need to consider. So 30000 to 50000 bucks probably for a new bin. I don't need the auger, of course, but something I'm definitely going to need to consider. Anyways, let me pull this on. Let's get out here. Let's spray these fields down. I'll see you guys... Um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. You know what? We'll start building once we get this done and figure out how we're gonna get some cows out here. And uh, I gotta find a way to make, I gotta find a way to make butter, guys. That's the goal. Make it butter. All right, guys, we've bought the land. Everything's been purchased. Let me just fill up the, uh, the 7810 here. Fill this bad boy on up. Um, yeah, we need to get some fuel. I need to make sure I've got, well, everything I'm going to need for the foreseeable future um, paid for. Because that 80 grand you see right now that I have, guys, we're going to spend it all on equipment right now. It's it's still going to be touch and go. You know what? Let me take you up to the farm. I do need to put a fuel uh, a fuel surplus station or a fuel fuel tank at the farm, actually, one of these days, too. I really need to do that. Driving all the way up here to get fuel is a bit of a pain. All right, guys, so that's our farm right back over, um, over there behind us. And, well, the cattle farm we picked up was just, well, one county road over, to be honest, just past this field over here, past this section. In a way, it's actually quite nice because it is still fairly close. You know what, it's, a, it's part of, an, of a larger farm or was a larger farm at one point in time. You can see down the far end there. We don't own any of that. We just own, well, the cattle barn right there. And then there's a field that's right up on top here. Let me show you a little around a little bit quickly. So we got a hay field just beside the farm and then, well, the, the cattle barn itself. You know what, I'll pull into the branch. The, the big white fur bar building ahead of us here, guys. That's a pig sty. That is not ours. Um, as much as I would like it to be ours. It looks like a nice... It's a fairly new pig operation. Uh, a lot of hogs can go into there. But this is the old cattle barn right here. And yeah, it's it's definitely a little bit dated, but not bad. It's in pretty good shape. Um, you know what, let me pull you around. Let's, let's take a look inside. So it does look like we have like a fermenting silo. So I might be able to do silage in there. I don't know yet. As far as everything else goes... We gotta go up the ramp, and there's a whole storage area inside, which is really quite convenient. Open sesame. So the nice, the real nice thing about this is it does have storage up here for, well, feed. Uh, hay bales, straw bales, whatever, right, guys? I got a lot of space up here to store all that stuff. And if you look over here, I can just open this bad boy on up and throw bales down to feed them. Like, it was designed pretty smartly. I like this. If I go down the stairs, we can go down into our milking room down here, where we, of course, store our milk. Which will be eventually turned into butter. They got a fairly new system in here uh, for milking the cows, which is kind of a nice to see. Something I don't have to worry too much about replacing. And then, yeah, just um, the pen itself for the cows. Guys, this is not bad at all. Can we go this way here? Yeah, we can. We can get right, in, right into the room. Anyways, there you go. That's the the $2 tour. $1, I don't even know, $0.05 cent tour? Whatever, but it doesn't matter. It's going to make us butter. Okay, it, it's not going to make us butter yet. This is going to make us milk, hopefully. But, um... Still got a problem. I got eighty-one thousand dollars. This cost us roughly two hundred and fifty for the the field plus the well the cattle barn as well. Field's roughly four acres, seven acres. I have to double check the, the deed again. But anyways, it's a few acres. Uh, not huge by any stretch of the imagination, but it should be enough to get us at least hay for these cows. That's all I really. I'm gonna worry about the hay. I'm not gonna worry about doing TMR, getting silage, anything yet. 
I'd rather not do grass, just get hay. But for now, I think it's time to start searching the auction sites and seeing if I can get... Well, what do I need, guys? I need to, I need to be able to pull food in for our cows. I'm going to need, of course, some kind of a, a mower of some sort. I'm going to need a tether, a, a rake, and a baler. Oh, boy. And then a way to manipulate or move bales. So I've got 80 grand to spend. Let's see how I make do. Holy, that's going to be tight. That's going to be super tight. I can't believe we had that in the budget. Mm. All right, the equipment's all arrived. Um, Pickens were pretty thin, to be perfectly honest. There was not a lot of options for me out there. Uh, I had to buy, well, like the Kubota, the pull behind Swather here, brand spanking new. We got a Vermeer uh, Tedder, pretty, yeah, it's brand new. We got an old New Holland Rake. The Rake was really tough to find anything else. I was hoping to find something, I don't know, a little bit better for cheap, but unfortunately everything's new right now. And so I had to find an old Rake to use. This is going to have to do for the time being, at least. It was only like 1200 bucks, but between these... The tether is, I don't even remember what it was, the 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 swather, the pull-behind swather is 20-some thousand. And then lastly, guys, I had to get an old small baler, a little baby baler, the 348 with a trailer. Um, once again, another like 20 grand for the tube, something like that, a little more than 20, I think, off the top of my head. Anyways, we're sitting at 16,000 left over, so 65 grand for, for everything. So I still got some money left over for cows, which is really good, actually. There is still a minor problem. Let's hook up to the Kubota here and uh, we'll tell you about it. So this will at least get us started with our feed, right? That's the key. I was concerned that I was gonna get to a point where I might just have to settle with grass. Um, I thought about that. The tether is relatively inexpensive. That's only one little added uh, price tag on on top of everything. It's, you know, what? An extra like $10,000, I think, for that tether. So really not that much money. I was concerned though, I was. Um, I just, I, I, I'm gonna have to find ways of getting better equipment at some point we'll see how we do here but it is going to be an issue going forward i can just tell you right now uh let's let's get this going drop that in and away we go but the nice thing is we just have it all right now so as far as our issues going forward we don't have any way to transport milk right now we just don't have the we don't have anything i'm going to have to buy some kind of a tank trailer i don't know i gotta find something to do with it uh yeah, something small maybe we can tow with the truck for the time being Guys, I need to, I'm going to need a new tractor as well. Um, this old John Deere, the 7810, I am, I'm using it for everything. I'm beating the snot out of it. It's, I mean, it's used for every single function of our farm from planting to weeding to fertilizer. You know, well, liming, it's not doing liming. There's one thing it doesn't do at least, I guess. But heck, I mean, the thing even does, I mean, it harvests. It even goes in and pulls a combine. It does absolutely everything on this farm. Uh, and it had a few miles on it to begin with, so let's uh maybe think about that i was planning on upgrading the combine this year I, I guess i guess this new farm has kind of pushed that aside hasn't it the Kubota is working pretty good yeah pull behind swather is doing just fine of course we expected that so not a huge surprise there for this size field i think this, this we can actually work with this for quite some time i'm not overly uh concerned about that but like i said the rest going forward you know what let's uh well we got the vermeer tether that should be fine the rake, guys, the rake is where things are going to get interesting. Let me just finish this off. Oh, yeah. Let's go grab that. Let's go grab that tether, guys. Looks good. Looks good. Lots of hay. Yeah. Do I have enough money to buy cows? Um, I'm going to let that one marinate for a second. Hey, you guys. Are you guys sick of the 7810 yet? Are you guys sick of seeing the 7810? Because this is all we've been driving forever, it feels like, out here in Iowa. Um, the 7810 is definitely... She's getting a workout. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if we've ever, I don't know. It seems like I've just been driving this thing constantly. I've got, I have definitely worn a, a nice comfy spot in this seat. It is, um, 100% my spot. Let's go with that. All right. One more task done. Let's go get the rake. All right. Here's the part that I was not looking forward to. Yeah, I know this is like overkill central. What do you do? You guys, seriously, what do you, what do you do? It is. I mean, it's still, it's still heavy, of course. I mean, I can't pull it. I don't have anything else with PTO anyways. But actually, no, it doesn't take a PTO, does it? Anyways, I, I just don't have any other way of pulling this. So um, this is what I got to do. Uh, I mean, this is going to be something we're going to probably replace sooner than later. But this has got to work for the time being. And it's, you know, it's an old New Holland, but it's still, it'll still do just fine, right? Let's fire this on up. Is it PTO? Yeah, I guess the PTO. Mm, it doesn't have the PTO on there. In real, I think these are pull behind, are they not? Anyways, let's um, see if we can rake this up. We're going to go counterclockwise this time so it'll uh, actually pull all the 
all the hay towards the uh, the left side, I suppose. There we go. Anyways, guys, uh, kind of a not great system. I'm not exactly happy with what we're having to do with this. It, it's not the best rake in the world for, for our size of our, our farm here. It's going to make things a little bit slow when it comes to bailing, of course, too. But um, I don't really have a choice right now. There's nothing that's really in my price range. I'm going to have to watch the used market, I think. And maybe we'll get lucky with that. That's the only thing I think of. As of for now, though, like this is... This is really going to have to be it, isn't it? It's unfortunate, but what do you what do you do right now? I, just, I don't really... I don't want to try and take out any more money. I, I'm just trying to find a way to make things... Just trying to find a way to make ends meet right now. A little extra work, a little... And we're doing with, what, four acres of field? The, the 7810 can handle this. It's just a nice little drive in the park, basically, for it. It's just, I would really like to... Well, find a way to make things go a little bit quicker, of course. Yeah, this is, um... <laughs> the pain is real sometimes. These old old equipment. We should have technically. Maybe I could find like an old, an old John Deere or uh, something a little more a little more antique to pull this with, and then I'd be a little more authentic, I guess. Like a little bit more, uh, a little more antique style, a little more collection style farm going on. But we've got the seventy eight ten, which is not well. It's older for sure, but you know, the New Holland is definitely a few more years on that. You know, it's it's funny though. Like we're making a couple hundred thousand dollars a year. That sh technically would be fine, really. I mean. For most, most of us, it would be just totally fine. But uh, no, that's not the way I'm going to run things, of course. I'm going to try and go a little bit crazy and see how much more money we can make. You know what? It's never been me to just be satisfied with what we have. I always want to see what's next. What can I say? So, uh, the, the, the you know, what we, we had the hog farm plan. Well, it's it's just been delayed. It's been prorogued a little bit. Put it that way. It's been held back. We're going to have to get some cows first. Too bad we can... Can you get pig cheese? No, don't answer that, guys. Don't answer that. Oh, boy. All right. Almost done. Uh, I'm just trying to tidy up a couple of these rows right now. And we'll get the baler out. Make some baby bales. And hopefully, by the end of today, we can get some cows going, guys. Um, there is one other thing I've been thinking about while we've been well raking this field. And um, it is a little interesting because, like I said, I'm, the whole purpose I'm doing this, guys, is to make butter, right? The whole purpose. The whole thing, the whole shebang, everything we're doing here is to make butter. Yeah, that's right. I've still got one problem I'm going to need to fix, of course. It's not that it's unfixable, but um, guys, it's it's a bit of an issue. And that is, well, I don't have, I don't have the, I don't own the creamery. I, I, I can't make butter yet. And that's going to cost me like $70,000. And fire you up. There, oh, wow. That was that was exciting. Um, yeah, we could definitely get this done this year. But when you're planning on doing things like right off the bat and getting things, oh oh, oh, oh I hit, I didn't, I didn't lower it. Hang on a sec, we'll spin this around. Mulligan. Okay, this time, the, which button is it? This one here. There we go. Um, yeah, when you're planning on, oh come on, come on, come on, grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that. There we go. When you're planning on on using the creamery to save yourself, and you you don't technically own it. It's a, it's a bit of an issue, so that's something we need to save money for. And of course, like I said, we need to ship milk as well. Um, I don't have any money really put away for that yet. I need to buy a trailer that's going to be able to hold well milk and move it around. Yeah, I've got I've got some issues I'm gonna have to deal with coming up here in a little bit. But first things first, get food for our cows. We'll get some cattle into our barn, and um, we'll go from there. It's not like a, it's a it's plan. What plan are we on? Is anyone keeping track anymore? Hold on a little quick. A little slower down, slow down. Gear down, gear down. There we go. I don't know. I don't know where we at anymore, guys. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to survive here. Oh man, we're uh, <laughs> we're sending quite a few bales up there. Look at them go. Yeah, this is uh, lots of little bales coming out. The, the, the system's working out all right. Um, I'm gonna have to stack these all by hand, of course, which is always always fun. But hey, we're doing this on the cheap. What do you expect? Because I'm trying to get back to the the barn here to store this stuff. Um. You know what, if uh, I had someone here stacking bales as we were uh, pumping them out, it would be a lot better, but here I am just kind of trying to get all these bales back on the trailer just to, to get us get us back. I think it should be all right. Let's see. Let's see if that's going to work for now. We just I got just need to get back down this this line here, <laughs> then we'll we'll go unload. I got a few bales in here, to, to say the least. Um, should get us going. I think it's actually uh, quite a few bales. Just the, the baby bales, of course, so it's not exactly like... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there we go. Stay on there. 
it's not exactly like they're uh, gonna last that long for feed but um you know what it's not too bad get up there there we go yeah there we go just missing a little bit of the hay not not too bad it's okay we're doing right we're doing right we're doing all right all right so we got about a hundred bales made already and uh we've still got a lot of work still to do oh we got one out in the field i missed um let's go put these up in the shop up here we're gonna go store all these up on top for now yeah perfect you know what this isn't the worst thing ever this will work all right that's a start let's get going let's uh keep on rolling through here we've stacked a bunch of them i got a bunch more bales go grab we need to fill this barn full i want this barn absolutely full of bales oh man rain's coming i gotta get these uh i gotta get this, this grass this hay off the field here we gotta get we got a couple more passes left to do but the rain is coming so i gotta hurry up I was just sitting in there stacking bales and all of a sudden you could just hear the thunder starting to come come on which i look at that Let's bring that down there we go and uh yeah i could hear the thunder inside the barn i'm like what is that did i drop something underneath it sounds like the sh floorboards are shaking oh no 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 it's it's about to start raining yeah we need to we need to get this last few passes of, of the hay off here get this done get it into the barn and uh we'll go from there don't want i don't want no soggy wet hay in here come on nice and easy nice and easy there we go let's stack them in let's go there we go perfect yeah this is working out pretty good i'm, I'm happy with this like i said the baler we can work with i would like to get the rake eh, maybe a little bigger sooner enough i got other things to worry about first of all of course we got cattle we got to work about the creamery we got to worry about moving the milk there's other problems first though oh that combine as well man lots of things to worry about uh let me get this final bit stacked and i'll see you guys in a bit all right so that there should about do us that's 250 bales done not too bad um yeah i'm, I'm actually kind of happy about that 250 bales oh wait wait we missed one we missed one hang on a sec let's close that up let's grab this let that fall out i think i opened the side up 250 bales done that should last us a while for the small amount of cattle we'll have in here. Let me just put this aside. We're going to go stack this up. I'll show you guys inside the barn here, and we'll take a look at how many bales we got stacked. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, man. She's coming down. Okay. There's... Well, our bales, they're all stacked up. We've got them all stacked in nice little piles here. Uh, if we look down below... Actually, got cattle in here as well. Guys, we're doing good. We got... I'm happy. You know what? Let me feed some cows here. Let's see. I can reach up to the top and grab... We'll grab a couple of bales here. Let's go for a... Can I grab a couple of these guys? Yeah, yeah. There we go. Just, just throw them down. Um, we gotta throw them down over here. Come on. No, 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 no. Grab all you, and then you gotta go. You have to go in there. I, I have cows. Guys, I have cows. Oh, there's the bull, by the way. I mean, not a bad way to, to deal with feeding your cattle, at least. Um, I've definitely had harder things to deal with. This is actually not too bad. We just kind of come in, grab a couple of bales, toss them down below. You know, eventually, what I'd like to do is get maybe, um, a skid steer or something in here. I think that would probably make this a little bit more efficient than hand bombing these things. But you know what? This this works just fine, I suppose. Um, I'll show you our cows here in a sec. Let me just make sure these guys get fed. They're gonna take a few bales. It's gonna take a, this is gonna take a hot minute. All right, that should about do it. Let me just toss one more in. I think they should be should be full enough down there. Yeah, perfect. That's a good sign, right? Let's close this door on up for now. Somewhere in here we can. Where's the handle? And close it usually. Where is it? Oh, there we go. That's better. <laughs> all right so let's go check on our cows down here like i said we've only got mm, seven seven cows one bull where's where's the bull gotta keep your eye oh there he is our bull's right here and we do have our seven cows all around not a, not a lot i'm hoping that i don't need a ton to be honest with you um these are our full full-grown cows that are a year and a half olds uh I didn't bother with heifers or getting uh, getting any baby cows, any calves, anything like that. We're starting off by getting full-grown cows for now, and we'll we'll let it grow naturally at least. It, it'll be cheaper on the hay if I don't go too crazy, of course, with this. Of course, I had to spend a premium to buy them, but hey, what do you do, guys? This is um, hopefully going to be enough cattle to at least get us a little bit of butter to start with. It, it's a plan, right? I just told you my my goal is to get butter to start. Well, we have cows, we fed them. It's the waiting game now, right? All right, so we're gonna head back to the farm. I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit here. We'll see how our cows are doing, but our corn crop is good. The cattle, the new cattle farm is looking good. I'm happy. It'll be, um, yeah, a couple months, I guess, here. Let me get our hazards on. And uh, we'll see how we make do. I'm gonna have to come back and feed these guys tomorrow, of course, make sure the hay stocks are taken care of. We'll see what we can do with silage, maybe. I don't know, yeah. TMR was a bit of a pipe dream. We're still a little ways away from that, I think. 
we need more fields I'm, I'm pretty sure before we can start looking into that we'll see how we do though so we'll head back over to the farm call it a day and uh i'll see you guys later on this summer oh welcome back into summer it's june now time's time's passing by guys and i'm out here working at the factory for a bit the cattle are good our crops are fine i i need to make money now i'm i'm actually broke completely broke but i'm gonna get rid of some of this garbage popcorn the garbage popcorn you know what to be perfectly honest i'm gonna sell everything off we're gonna get rid of everything today and see if i can get above board like i said now i need to find a way to ship milk and i need i need to come up with seventy thousand dollars i need 70 70 grand um to buy the creamery i that's really what i'm trying to find a way to make happen right now we've already got a couple thousand liters of milk i, I just need to find a way to buy the creamery so that well we can progress down that path like i said my goal is butter my goal is baking butter uh, i know it's it's a bit of a pipe dream i'm kind of blowing everything else out of the water just to make this happen but this is where we got to be all right we'll sew all our popcorn off here i gotta go make a couple trips it looks like it's gonna take a hot minute to get rid of it all but um hey it is what it is hey we're not in the hole anymore man i would love to make a little bit more money than that though i'm telling you that's that's ridiculous all right so five thousand bucks were above board at least man like the, the amount of popcorn to sell to make five grand is ridiculous uh now we got the buttered popcorn no oh, i did have to spend some money i still have buttered butter in the um in the factory so that's not a bad thing but i'm just saying that this cost me more money to build this or to make this buttered popcorn but it's you know the demand is way better everyone wants their buttered popcorn i guess what can i say let's see what we make off of this shall we i think uh the best price to sell should be right in here i think it's the store here they want it i i thought maybe not maybe it's in the loading dock here hmm let's take a look oh there we go i, I just you know i just had to move a little bit just a, a little bit there just to get into the right spot um yeah see that's a, a little bit better a little bit better return on our profits there i'm just saying that yeah yeah see that this is where i need to be obviously not not with the regular popcorn we need to we need to sell the buttered stuff all right, we're at 60 grand. 60 grand the old account. I need 70, 70 for the creamery plus another, what do you guys figure for the trailer? Because we need to, to move the milk, of course. And then maybe another 10? Can I do it for less than that? Maybe I can find something used. We'll see, we shall see. Uh, we got two more pallets of, pop, of the buttered popcorn here. Let's take a quick look inside and see how much we got left here. I think I got still quite a bit. So we can see we've still got 2000 liters of butter, of course. Lots of corn still left over, so we still have lots of buttered popcorn we can be making, guys. It's still going to be making us some decent profits for a bit. So I think, I think I'm still going to afford the creamery and be able to get a trailer here. In, in fact, okay, so we got like what almost 60 grand there. If you think about it, we may actually have enough money to to upgrade some other pieces of equipment like that rake. Might be something we could do. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Things are starting to come together, though. All right, guys, another month has passed. We're into August already, holy. Actually, maybe it's two months. I can't remember when I talked to you last. But you know what? Guys, do you, you see what's on the counter right here? You see this? That milk? Yeah, it, it's time. Guys, it's time. That's right, I've sold off. We should jump the fence. I've sold off a bunch more of our buttered popcorn. So we're getting there. I mean, it's almost harvest season. Look at the corn out there. It's almost harvest season. Another couple months and we'll be there. But I have bought a trailer to start shipping milk. It's nothing special, but it's going to work just fine. I'm sure this is all we need. It only holds about 2,000 leads, liters farming units, and um, that it's enough, guys. I it's gonna this is going to accomplish our goal of actually shipping milk. I don't know. This might do it right now. Like we're, it's gonna happen. We're doing this on the cheap, and it actually worked out. All right, let's uh, let's head over to well, we're at the, the, the range road there, and we're gonna head up to uh, this the cattle farm, and uh, we'll go see if we can. We can take care of that right off the bat here. Uh, I want to start shipping this. I've got to, we still have to purchase the creamery. So the deal's in the works. Don't you worry. It's all, I've just got to sign that final paperwork here and that's going to be ours. It's going to put us back down to almost no money again. But I think by the time harvest comes, we should actually have enough money from the dairy uh, or the, uh, the buttered popcorn. I, I think we'll have to see, but that's not my concern today like i said the, the goal of today was to make butter yeah guys i'm a little impressed i did not think we i wasn't sure i, I don't want to say i mean i'm always optimistic but i didn't know if i'd have a chance to get through and really pull that together in time for um well in what six months yeah our seven cows are actually doing decently 
We're already a couple months in. Well, we should have some baby cows. Well, next year, this time for sure, we'll have some baby cows here. Holy, we're already at around, well, 17, 18,000 liters of milk already. That's, um, well, it's nine trips. I, if you did the math, that holds 2,000. Yeah, that's a lot. We got, a, we got a few trips to make over to the creamery. We gotta go buy it first. Let's go. Oh, man, guys, I'm, I'm impressed. This has actually worked out as well, as good as it possibly could have, I think, for us. I wasn't really, like I said, 100% sure we were going to be able to pull this off before harvest, at least. Um, I was a little worried about even doing it in the year, but here we are. We've got our cattle farm up and running already. And actually a fair amount of milk already for considering we've only got, what, seven cows? Decent. Definitely decent. Let's um, let's go in and, and sign off on this, guys, before we uh, sell our milk in here by accident. All right, guys, we're, we're doing it. Look at, look at, look at, look at. Um, it's owned. We're making butter and cheese right off the bat. So I'm gonna go sh do some shipments and then we'll go from there. But things are things are looking really good right now. You're in the butter zone now, baby. So guys, I think that's actually gonna do it for today, though. I mean, we've got 16, 17 grand in the account. Got a bunch of milk still in here. We're making butter. Our goal isn't completed. We've we've built a cattle farm from scratch with basically next to no money almost. Really, this is coming together quite nice. I can't believe we got this cattle farm up today. This is awesome. And we got a field that's ready almost to harvest, so we can get some more. Maybe we'll do some silage right away. Maybe we'll work into that and get the production up a little bit higher even. Guys, the, the sky's the limit right now. Things are looking good. We got the ca the corn going to be taken care of. I am super excited. Things are coming together. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video, drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. And of course, thanks to all the new people who have joined the channel. And of course, the members. Here I am in my sweater, winter jacket in the middle of summer in Iowa, sweating. <laughs> sweating to the oldies um but thanks to you guys cheers guys appreciate you guys anyways we'll continue this on next time and uh until then have a great day guys this is clutch over and out look at those cows back there we got cows